In early 2023, OpenAI's ChatGPT ushered in a new era, one in which artificial intelligence went from a pipe dream to a very real, contentious issue for workers. The stakes are high. An April report from Goldman Sachs estimates ChatGPT and other similar generative AI tools could increase global GDP by as much as 7% while replacing 300 million full-time workers. Many workers may have believed that burger-flipping robots in fast-food restaurants or advanced fabrication machines in factories would represent the first wave of AI-related job losses. Yet, the light-speed adoption and evolution of generative AI tools may now mean knowledge work. Jobs that were long considered safe could be threatened even faster than workers anticipated. That includes creative positions that many presumed would be hard to automate in fields like marketing, music production, and graphic design. Accordingly, researchers have found that the exposure curve is upward sloping, says an expert. This means people in what may have traditionally been thought of as higher and safer professional positions are the workers most at threat of replacement by AI. That's because generative AI tools and technologies can, or will soon be better able, to do all many things that have, in years past, been left to highly skilled humans. Think tasks such as putting together marketing plans, search strategies, and much more. Part of this is new technology hitting the market. Robots that act like AI colleagues are on the way, and in some cases, they're already here. Imagine co-working with a robot sitting at the desk right beside yours. While there is reason to think that AI may be a boon to workers, there are reasons that many people working in knowledge work positions should be looking over their shoulders. In early December, Artisan AI, a San Francisco-based startup founded by 22-year-old Jasper Carmichael Jack, who is from the UK, will unveil its first Artisan, an AI-powered digital worker. It is designed to integrate with human teams and for all practical purposes, become a member of those groups. While Artisan AI plans to have several artisans hit the market throughout the next year, the first, Ava, will automate the job of a sales representative, marking a significant improvement over chatbots and similar AI tools already on the market. After a 15-minute conversation with Ava, it'll have the ability to build a knowledge base and with that information, create prospects. It's like having sales software, but it comes with a manager or account executive built in. She can make suggestions, edit campaigns, join meetings and take notes. Artisans can function autonomously in the background with little or no input. As such, artisans added to an organization's team could and should help boost productivity significantly. The technology is already attracting the attention of investors. Artisan AI has raised more than $2 million in pre-seed money within two weeks. Our goal is to have digital workers who can do anything a human can do, like join a meeting or have a phone call, the CEO says. The goal is to have artisans working alongside humans directly and have cohesion, and we want the boring work to be shifted on the artisan, which doesn't have feelings about whether something is boring or difficult. Although much AI technology is already shaking up the workforce as we know it, we are still at the beginning when it comes to AI integration into the workplace, says Eric, director of the Stanford Digital Economy Lab. I'm more of the belief that we ain't seen nothing yet. This is just the first wave of AI integration into the economy. The question, however, is what the human toll of this growth will be, particularly in terms of job losses. Eric adds that, the typical company has 15,000 to 20,000 distinct tasks carried out by employees, and software can run through and see where the biggest opportunity for automation lies. If some of those tasks can be automated or streamlined with AI or other technology, he says, there's no reason not to lean into those technologies, especially if there's a potential for cost cutting. Given the immediate potential benefits to businesses from AI, programmers, web designers, accountants, lawyers, and all other knowledge workers should carry some degree of concern regarding their jobs.
Whether the white-collar workforce is diminished by AI technologies will, ultimately, be a societal choice. Workers will need to have a say in how AI is introduced and used in particular industries, and hopefully, that can lead to better outcomes for everyone, he says. One example of this is the deal between the Screen Actors Guild and Hollywood Studios that outlines limits for the use of AI in film and television production. The question is whether other industries will codify similar stipulations to preserve their workers' livelihoods. This is all for today, dear viewers. Click like, subscribe, and ring that YT bell to stay up to date with the latest AI buzz.